Imagine a land so vast, it could swallow France, Germany, and Spain combined, yet it's home to fewer people than most small towns. A place where the ice covers 80% of the land, but the world's powers are fighting over it. Here's a question for you, why does the largest island in the world, Greenland, matter so much to nations like the US, China, and Russia? And how does it hold secrets that could shape the planet's future? Stay with us as we explore Greenland like never before, from its icy mysteries to its global geopolitical importance. This is not just another video about geography, this is a story about the survival of a people, the planet, and the politics of the Arctic. First things first, what exactly is Greenland? At over 2.1 million square kilometers, it's the world's largest island. It's part of the Kingdom of Denmark but with its own government. The name Greenland might make you think of lush fields and forests, but ironically, 80% of it is covered in ice. Greenland's population is just over 56,000, most of whom are Inuit, descendants of the ancient people who migrated from Canada thousands of years ago. Despite its size, Greenland feels like a small, isolated community. Its towns are scattered, its people resourceful, and its culture deeply connected to the harsh Arctic environment. But here's the twist, this seemingly remote island is becoming the center of global attention. And no, it's not because of the Vikings who once lived there or its remote beauty. It's because of its resources, geopolitical importance, and role in the fight against climate change. Let's start with Greenland's geography, it's unlike anywhere else on Earth. The ice sheet that covers Greenland is so massive it holds about 10% of the world's freshwater. If it melted entirely, global sea levels would rise by over 7 meters. Let that sink in. Its glaciers move faster than almost any other ice on Earth, spilling icebergs into the North Atlantic. Remember the Titanic? That iceberg likely came from Greenland. But Greenland isn't just a frozen wasteland. The coastline is dotted with fjords, rocky cliffs, and unique Arctic ecosystems. In summer, temperatures can reach a comfortable 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, in some areas, creating an almost surreal contrast to its icy reputation. And then there's the wildlife, polar bears, whales, musk oxen, and a host of seabirds thrive here, making Greenland one of the most pristine natural habitats in the world. Now, imagine living in a place where winter means darkness for months and summer brings endless daylight. The people of Greenland have adapted to these extremes for thousands of years. The Inuit culture is built on resilience and connection to nature. Traditional hunting and fishing aren't just pastimes, they're survival skills. Seals, whales, and fish provide food, clothing, and materials for daily life. But it's not all about tradition. Greenland's younger generation is blending their heritage with modern life. You'll find Inuit hip-hop artists, tech entrepreneurs, and climate scientists all working to shape Greenland's future. Here's something to think about. How would you adapt to life in a place with such extremes? Could you handle months of darkness or make a living off the land? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're loving this deep dive into Greenland. Now let's talk about Greenland's biggest secret, and its greatest danger. The Greenland ice sheet is melting, and it's melting fast. Scientists say it's losing about 200 billion tons of ice per year. This isn't just a Greenland problem, it's a global problem. As Greenland's ice melts, sea levels rise, threatening coastal cities worldwide. Miami, New York, Shanghai, none are safe if Greenland's ice continues to vanish. But there's more. As the ice melts, it reveals ancient organic matter, releasing greenhouse gases like methane. In other words, Greenland is both a victim of climate change and a potential accelerant. And then there's the part of Greenland that has nations fighting for influence, its resources. Greenland is rich in rare earth minerals, which are essential for modern technology. Think smartphones, electric cars, wind turbines. As the ice melts, these resources are becoming more accessible, sparking interest from global powers like the US, China, and Russia. But it's not just about minerals. Greenland's location in the Arctic makes it strategically vital. The Arctic is becoming a new geopolitical frontier, with nations vying for control over shipping lanes and military influence. The US even tried to buy Greenland in 2019, yes, you heard that right. President Trump floated the idea of purchasing the island to secure its strategic advantages. This wasn't the first time, either. The US has maintained a military base in Greenland since World War II, underscoring its importance in Arctic defense. So, what does the future hold for Greenland? It's a land of incredible potential but also enormous challenges. 
Greenland could become a hub for renewable energy, using its abundant hydropower to fuel a green economy. Its rare earth minerals could drive the global transition to clean energy. But these opportunities come with risks, environmental damage, geopolitical tensions, and the question of how Greenland's people will benefit from this newfound attention. And then there's the big question, independence. Greenland has been part of Denmark for centuries, but there's a growing movement for full sovereignty. Can Greenland balance its cultural identity, environmental stewardship, and global ambitions? Only time will tell. What do you think, should Greenland push for independence, or would it be better off as part of Denmark? And how should the world balance the need for resources with the need to protect this fragile ecosystem? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Greenland may seem like the edge of the world, but in many ways, it's at the center of the planet's most pressing challenges. Climate change, geopolitics, natural resources, this icy giant holds the keys to the future. So, the next time you think of Greenland, don't just think of ice and snow. Think of its people, its potential, and its place in the world story. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more stories that uncover the extraordinary and the seemingly ordinary. Stay curious, and we'll see you next time.